Hi, I'd like to talk to you today about Molly Pitcher. Um, historian Linda Grant DePew says that the moniker Molly Pitcher is a uh, generic term used for women who would not only deliver medical supplies and, and much needed water and uh, nurses aides to soldiers on the field, but also to women who would step into battle and, and take the place of men who had fallen um, and essentially fill the ranks when needed. Um, candidate number one for Molly Pitcher uh, and the most widely known person as Molly Pitcher was named Mary Ludwig Hayes McCulley. She was born October 13th in 1754 in New Jersey. Um, at the age of 13, she moved from New Jersey to Pennsylvania and under the employ of a doctor um, as a servant where she met her first husband, William Hayes, who was a barber, and they married July 24th, 1769. In 1777, Hayes enlisted with the Colonial Army in Briston, Pennsylvania, and Mary followed her husband's regiment, along with other women and children, into battle um, and around for their terms of service. Uh, they're said to have wintered at Valley Forge with General George Washington, um, but her claim to fame really comes to be uh, at, the Battle of Man at the Battle of Manmouth on June 28, 1778, um, when her husband, who was manning the heavy guns of artillery, a cannon, uh, was either injured or collapsed, some say maybe due to heat stroke. Um, she quickly jumped into his place and uh, took over firing the cannon alongside the other men from her husband's regiment. She uh, is rumored to have had a cannonball at some point fly between her legs, taking off the bottom half of her petticoat and just kind of looking at the guy next to her and saying, well, <laughs> glad it didn't go any higher. Um, as she was heralded as a hero uh, by the men that she served with. And after the Battle of Manmouth, uh, she was awarded a sergeant's commission by either General Green or by General Washington himself. Um, after the death of her first husband, William Hayes, she remarried another veteran uh, named John McCulley and retired to Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And in 1822, she was awarded a $40 uh, award and a $40 annual commission for the remainder of her life uh, for her service for her country. She died in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, January 22nd, 1852, and was buried with a, a hero's burial. She had full military honors, um, as well as receiving uh, soldiers firing salutes at, at her gravesite. Um, and her grave marker is engraved with the name Molly Pitcher. Now, candidate number two for Molly to Pitcher is uh, Margaret Corbin, who... Her and her husband actually did serve in the same regiment as uh, Mary Ledwood Hayes and William Hayes. Um, he was also in the artillery unit. And uh, she was the first woman officially pensioned by the federal government and by the state um, as a soldier. Her husband died uh, at the Battle of Fort Washington. Um, and she, as soon as he died, stepped up, took his place, and began firing his cannon. She was wounded and eventually captured by the British. Uh, she was released, and uh, from that point on, she served for the Corps of Invalids at West Point. She is also the only revolutionary soldier to be buried at West Point. Um, and after the war, prior to her burial, <laughs> after the war, she did receive both state and federal pension and was the first woman to ever receive such honors uh, from either the state or the, uh, the federal government. Uh, she died in Westmoreland County, Pennsylvania at January 16, 1800 um, because of complications from her injuries from the Battle of Fort Washington. And she was also known uh, most lovingly by by the men in her regiment as Captain Molly. But those are just some of the candidates uh, for the famous Molly Pitcher who we all have grown up hearing about. Thank you.